Hi, I am in the process of restoring this Toyota Corolla 9th generation. Today, we are going to replace its stabilizer links. It's pretty simple, so let's do it by ourselves. Here are for those clunking noise. It's caused by a stabilizer link issue and a bushing issue on the control arm. Anyway, I can only replace one part at a time due to budget constraints. Today, we're only replacing the stabilizer links. Let's go! Step 1. Safety first. Engage the emergency brake so the car will not roll off when you jack it up. Kapag hindi mo ginawa yan, baka madaganan ka pasan ng sasakyan, kaya i-activate ang emergency brake. It will lock the rear wheels to prevent it from rolling back. It's also wise to put a stopper on the rear wheels. Step 2. Loose the lug nuts while the tire is still on the ground. Doing this early will help losing the nuts with minimal effort because the weight of the vehicle will help you counter the force you exert on the wrench. Luwagan lang ang lug nuts pero huwag muna itong tatanggalin. Remember, don't remove the wheels yet. Step 3. Jack up the car on the front center. There is a lump underneath the engine bay where you should place the crocodile jack appropriately. Mahalaga ang step na ito para lumaylay ang mga gulong sa harapan. Doing this will relieve the weight pressure exerted by the vehicle to the suspension system. Step 4. Unbolt the lug nuts then remove the wheel. This step will now be a piece of cake since you already have loosened the lug nuts in step 2. Place the wheels underneath the vehicle as shown in the video to catch the vehicle shall the jack malfunctions. Pag di mo ito ginawa, baka madaganan pa yung paa mo, paktay na! Step 5. Remove the old stabilizer link. You can now do this straightforwardly. Madali na lang ito dahil nakahang ang mga gulong. Cleaning the bolt areas before unscrewing the bolts is recommended. As you see, this piece already came off. See that? It's already torn apart. And this one is already damaged. So, spray it. This one is the original. We're going to look at it. See, it's a little bit torn and it is rusty. This one is bad, very bad. Mm -hmm. See? Step 6 Install the new stabilizer link. Doing this is also as simple as removing it. Screw this.
Okay, I think it's enough. <sighs> so this one, as you see, it doesn't point out straight that way. So what you have to do is to turn the steering wheel there so that this one will align to the pole. Up. All right. So, By the way, the new bolt is 17 millimeters. Step 7. Repeat the procedures 2 to 6 on the other wheel. Okay, next is this one. Right, so after this, you're done. Row test. If you went this far, you have just successfully replaced your stabilizer links. Congratulations. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also consider subscribing to help this channel reach more viewers like you. See you next video. Thank you.